Did you ever feel like you're stuck in a rut? <laughs> oh no. Uh, I can't get up. <laughs> I hate my job. No, different kind of rut. That's a rut. Wow. Today I want to talk about a skill that might not even be a skill at all. It just might be, I don't know what it is. Here are three secrets to unlock this skill. What the hell? Let's grab our cyclocross bikes and go. Hell no. Wait, unsubscribe, just like. Wait, what? No, 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 wait. Okay, cool. Eventually I'll make a cyclocross video. Just a warning. Can you master rut riding? I don't think so. But you can get pretty good at it. When bicycles ride through soft ground, meaning mud, snow, sand, you're gonna get ruts. The skinnier the tire, the more likely you're gonna get a rut. If multiple riders ride the same line, the rut gets deeper. Ruts kind of go their own way because there's rocks and roots. The dirt gets a little harder, a little softer there. So rut's never just a straight line. It usually wiggles, it's find its own random path, which makes it so hard. Usually the wider the tire, the less likely you're gonna make a rut. So the reason why I brought in cyclocross is because in cyclocross, riding ruts is common because we ride a lot in the mud, in the sand, so ruts are just almost on a weekly basis. Mountain biking, ruts are mostly encountered in races, like endurers or downhill races. Everybody's breaking in the same spots. You're gonna get ruts. Then people will change lines, you're gonna get another rut. Sometimes these ruts meet. Could actually end up having your front wheel in one rut and your rear wheel in the other rut going along for the ride. So what makes you a good rut rider? There's three things. Number one, the worst thing you can do is be tense and don't let the bike do what it needs to do. Basically, be loose as a goose. All right, take it down a notch, clown boy. That's about right. Next step, conviction. Believe in yourself. Let go of the brakes, look at the rut, and say, I can do this. Attack. And you need luck. You definitely need luck. What are the chances of crashing in a rut? They're really high. I mean, even at World Cups or World Championships or any of the races I've been to, the top guys, you know, some of the ruts are so difficult. They know one out of 10 times, I'm gonna crash in this rut, but that's pretty good odds. If you're only gonna crash one time out of 10, you only have to make it once through in that race rut. And if that rut is so much faster, they're gonna take that chance, no problem. But if you're just riding, just go around the rut, please. Especially right hand turn ruts. You're gonna wreck your derailleur, not worth it. So is there any way you can practice rut riding? Of course. I taught cyclocross clinics, mm, back to the cyclocross again, and I nailed or staked two by fours to the ground, yeah. two rows next to each other. I think I can build something like that for mountain bikes, but it'd have to be a little bigger, like four by fours. Oh, wait, do I get to use my tools? I feel tool porn coming on. So to build this, I cut these about a 15 degree angle on all sides. These are like 32 inches long, both of them. The gap between the two are about two tire width, eight foot on that side, eight foot on that side. Let her rip.
I've messed this up a couple times now. And every time I keep my upper body from the entrance of the first rut, after the wiggle, the second rut, my bike is on, you know, foot to the right and the upper body is still on the left. That's a problem. So you want to make sure that you have your center of your body over the front wheel, even if you're changing ruts. If you get caught behind, you're going to be off balance. You're going to tip over. Hard to do, but anticipate the rut where it leads you and try to get your upper body on top of that rut. So kind of have to get away from the bike a little before you hit that rut and let the bike follow you. I don't know. Does it make sense? Maybe. <laughs> oh my God, it's me. <laughs> uh, like I said, no expenses have been spared in the making of this video. I'm going all in, man. Production value? <laughs> Crazy production value. Ooh. Ooh. I can't reach it. My arms aren't long enough. Thanks for watching anyway. Oh, and I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving away five t-shirts. And how to qualify for the giveaway? You gotta watch the end of this video right here.